What's this? Another midweek video? You guys are getting really lucky. I've just been going through uh, some of the comments from last week's video, or from the few days of the weekend video. The, the, my latest video around buying vintage bike parts and frames and stuff. And um, there was one that I noticed saying about the fact that I didn't talk about handlebars. Um, I did, but apparently I forgot to put that clip in the video. So I thought I'd make a little video today um, that shows the two minutes of handlebar talk. Um, if you haven't seen the video from the Sunday, um, it's linked on the screen right now um, and below in the description. Uh, I suggest you watch it because there's a lot of wisdom in there about how I buy my vintage part parts, whether it be frames, cranks. Maybe I should go and re-watch it too. Let's go watch it together. But if you've already seen it, stay and um, let's talk about handlebars. Um, second from last thing I want to talk about is uh, handlebars. Handlebars, um, again, are one of those things that we could talk about for a long time. Um, there's some really amazing handlebars on the market. Um, one of the biggest ones that I want right now, for example, is the Surly Corner Bars. Um, they're awesome, awesome handlebars. They cost a lot of money and they're hard to find because they sell out so quickly. But there are a couple of places you can get handlebars quite regularly and you don't need to spend too much money. Um, obviously, there's some eBay specials, some handlebars that are made kind of from town bikes and some crazy um, motocross bars with the crossbar across the top. There's lots of different things you can find like that. Um, those are very kind of like specific to your needs and kind of what you're trying to build very creative so I'm not going to go in those too much but if you just want some decent mountain bike bars that are like not going to cost the world um, in the UK at least using Chain Reaction and using Brand X. Brand X are a very budget brand um, but the stuff is super good for the money you're spending on it. Um, it's a great company to use for a good, great bunch of components to use while you kind of like sort out what you actually want to put on there. Um, I have a couple of sets of Brand X bars that I use just to kind of like mock up a bike and then when I decide exactly what I want to put on there I might spend a bit more money and then I know which size and kind of what bar I want from there. The other one is Planet X um, or in particular On One. On One have a bunch of really nice bars. My favourite one being the Jeff, which is this bar here. I'll probably have a picture on the screen. It'll be a little bit better than this, but uh, yeah, uh, they make some really good bars. Um, they're nearly always about 10 to 15 pounds for a set of bars, and they're not crap. They're good, and they're also more often than not alternative bars. So a little bit more cool, a little bit more creative. So that's literally it. That's probably my shortest video to date. Um, but uh, I was, I thought it was important because you know. I didn't talk about handlebars before. Um, handlebars are kind of another one of those kind of ones where it's a little bit more unique to you. Um, so it's a bit hard to kind of know exactly what to suggest and things like that. But my biggest thing is find a decent set of bars for mocking up and kind of working what you want. That's the big thing for me with the Brand X. Um, I've got a few different versions of their handlebars now. They sometimes cost around 10 pounds each, so they are really cheap. Uh, I'll link my two favorites down below of Brand X, and I'll link my three favorite three favorites favorites of the Planet X below as well uh, so you can go check them out one more thing before I go and um, there is a big video coming this weekend I'm just editing it right now um, but in the meantime my website's back up and it looks like this stickers there's more new stickers there's a restock of some of the favorites um, and as requested there is some merch um, I now have some t-shirts uh, some hats I have uh, some uh, enamel mugs which was asked about a couple of times because someone spotted one of mine in a video once so that's on there uh, and a patch oh and a neck scarf so there's lots of just stuff on there now that um, hopefully you like um, that stuff will change quite regularly um, it is all made to order um, to kind of like cut down on cost and waste I don't want to make loads of t-shirts that people don't want to buy um, and I don't want to do pre-orders because I feel like that's asking you guys for a lot so they're here if you want some you can help yourself and get some and obviously it helps me build more bikes and produce videos for you guys so uh, everybody wins that'll do so come back Sunday for um, the next or the beginning of my new build 
um, which is here. I've done a lot of it, but you're going to have to wait. All right, one more glimpse. That's it. Bye.